Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Yasa Seravan and Boris Pasky. This is a game from Benkas Blitz Tournament played in 1990. Yasa Seravan had white pieces and he started with d4. Boris Pasky played b5. Some people said that Spassky chose this opening not to show his opening preparation, which he was saving for the elite chess tournaments. Others were saying that Spassky chose this opening thinking that he has an easy opponent and can get away with any opening. Yasa Seravan played e4. Yasa Seravan didn't worry about others seeing his opening moves. Bishop to b7, bishop to d3, obviously a bishop takes on b5, bishop takes on e4. The center pawn is more valuable. Back to our game. Bishop to d3, e6, knight to f3, defending the pawn on b5, Seravan castle kingside, d6, c3, knight to d7, a4, knight on g to f6, Attacking the pawn on e4, defending, bishop to e7, intending to castle kingside, obviously. a takes on b5, a takes on b5, rook takes rook, queen takes rook. Why to move? How would you continue now? Yasa Seravan played e5, naturally white wants to open the game and catch black king before he reaches the safety of castling d takes on e5 d takes on e5 knight to d5 let's take it back bishop takes on f3 queen takes on f3 queen takes queen pawn takes queen knight to d5 bishop takes on b5 white is a pawn up and standing better back to our game knight to d5 bishop takes on b5 Pinning the knight, bishop to c6, bishop takes on c6, queen takes on c6. White to move, how would you continue now? Yasa Seravan played knight to d4, attacking the queen, not giving black time to castle. And with this move, Yasa Seravan is clearing the diagonal for the queen. Queen to b7, queen to g4, black to move, j6. If castling, then bishop to h6 is unpleasant after g6 preventing checkmate. Bishop takes rook. Back to our game. g6 was played, knight to d2, black to move. Spassky seriously considered castling, but then he decided not to. He played c5, attacking the well-placed knight. Let's take it back. Why, Spassky? didn't like this move. Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did you find this move? Knight takes on e6. And after pawn takes knight, queen takes on e6. Check. King to h8. Queen takes knight. And white is winning. Back to our game. That is why Spassky played c5, chasing that well-placed knight. Knight from 4 to f3 h5 attacking the queen, queen to e4, queen to c7, knight to c4, h4, white to move. How would you continue now? What is the best move for white in this position? Which one of the white pieces is not participating in the game? And what is the best square for that piece? Is it the bishop on c1? What is the best square for that bishop? Yasa Seravan played the best move, the bishop to g5. The perfect move, because black, the square bishop, is keeping the game for black together. Bishop takes on g5, knight takes on g5, and now black has a problem on dark squares, and also on white squares. Spassky was looking at this position and shaking his head. He saw that knight to d6 is coming. And he didn't know what to do about that. So he played rook to h5, following the rule that the attack is the best defense. Sometimes. Why to move? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? 
Knight to d6 looks like a pretty good move, doesn't it? But white played a move in black designed and the move is knight takes on e6. Spassky designed. If f takes on e6, then queen takes on g6 check. After king to d8, queen takes rook. And after say knight on 7 to b6, knight to d6. Threatening checkmate. Black is totally lost and let's go back. What if black doesn't take the knight? If queen to c6, then... Can you see the move? Then knight to g7 check, forking the king and the rook. After king to d8, knight takes rook. Pawn takes knight, then knight to d6. And black's position is extremely difficult to defend. That is why Spassky designed in this position. What a game. What a game. What do you think of this game? Thank you for watching and bye for now.